Well, hey there, YouTube. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. The weather just keeps getting hotter, and I keep finding good watermelon. I think since um, I did my video on Monday, I had another watermelon, and it's been the best one so far this year. Super, super sweet. And yes, for the seed people, there were seeds in there. <laughs> I was hurting bit following on Instagram that they're just like, they're all about seeds. Don't get me wrong. I understand the importance of seeds in our watermelons and in our food, but I'm talking about these people are really honed in on seeds. But anyhow, today I want to share some raw vegan staples that I keep on hand all the time or that I try to keep on hand all the time. Um, and this kind of sprung out of I was making my shopping list this morning and noted there were a few things that I didn't have around the house, so it's time to restock. In fact, I had a little, uh, had to make a call an audible uh, with my smoothie this morning. I was going to go make a green smoothie and I didn't have one of the key ingredients after I blended up my bananas. So, um, like you'll probably be able to guess some of my staples if you've been following me for some time. The number one, number one, number one is bananas. Always bananas in the house. Always bananas in the house. In fact, I'm about to, I, bananas are on my list right now because I'm kind of low. And when I mean low, I've got about 45 or 50 bananas in the house, but I just, you know, kind of like to keep them cycling through and I never know, you know, where I live now. Um, when I go to, the, like sometimes I go to the store and they're fairly on their way to being ripe or even real close to being ripe, but I, other times I go and there is nothing but green bananas in every store in town. So that is very, very important, always in the house. Another thing that's always in the house i.e. talking about the green smoothie a little while ago that I don't have right now, so it's not always in the house, is kale. Um, I'm, I, I try to keep at least two bags of kale in the house. Um, they're big old bags of kale that I, I can get them at either Publix or one of the local chains around here. But usually, well, not usually, I'm pretty much like clockwork. I use about, I use half a bag, half a bag of kale in each green smoothie. So I'll get four, I'll, I, I usually will buy two bags at a time, so I've got four good green smoothies. You know, takes me a long part, a good stretch of the week anyway. So we'll definitely be getting some kale today. And this is just kind of the building blocks of the nutrition I like to get. Sprouts, sprouts, sprouts. Um, I've got, I'm mostly sprout lentils. Um, I do have some broccoli that I'm going to grow into, I think, but I'm going to use them for microgreens. But uh, what I do with, this, with the lentil sprouts, and people have mentioned before about, about price or like they just go to the grocery store because it's expensive to get the good organic ones. I don't really know how you could do much better price-wise. I've mentioned this before. I buy a five-pound bag of organic black lentils online and I think it cost me about 25 or $30 and the bag will last me uh, over a year and I'm constantly sprouting. I'm, I'm looking over on my table right now. I've got two batches of sprouts going right now. So I'm constantly sprouting. I'm eating sprouts almost every day of the year and this $25 bag lasts me. So you do the math if you think that's a little too uh, expensive. Next thing I always keep around the house um, is seeds. I keep, I don't have uh, them for visual aid, but I usually will keep either, I keep chia seeds, I'll keep flax seeds, and I'll keep hemp seeds around the house. I should have bought more chia seeds the last time I went to Pensacola. I had, I'm able to get good organic ones over there. Um, I keep them around for a couple of different reasons. Um, I keep this around for the, for the omega-3s. Um, and this is the best, but what you need to do too is the seeds, um, I grind them. I have a little coffee bean grinder that I use and I grind these up when I use them. I don't really use flax as often as I use chia or as I use hemp parts. And like, but like I say, I try to keep chia around all the time because the chia and the flax have a better um, omega-6 to 3 ratio. I mean more of the omega-3s than do um, other ones. But I also like to keep my hemp parts around too because they also have good omega threes. Um, they have a good, bit, a lot of protein. They have um, ten grams of protein in three tablespoons. But also, too, another big reason um, for the hemp seeds and why I'm always going through hemp seeds is 
I use these in a lot of recipes, a lot of salad dressing recipes specifically. So um, yeah, there's always uh, hemp seeds in my house, except for when I'm having a hard time finding them. I did recently have a period where I was out for uh, maybe a week or so. Um, dates, dates, dates. Now these are just the little daglet, daglet newer dates. And I keep these around because I don't have a real good source of, um, of the good um, dates in this area of the medjool. I, I space on names sometime. Um, I don't have a real good source here and they're quite expensive. So I use a, a fair amount of dates in my dressing, salad dressing recipes too. So just for, um, you know, economics, it's much better to use these than it always is to be using those um, uh, medjool dates. And like I say, it's a heck of a lot less expensive. Now for all of you out there that, that have the raw is law mentality or that are offended by anything that is not raw, I'm gonna let you avert your eyes right now because technically, or not technically, the next uh, item is not raw, but I keep it around all the time. And I'm gonna to continue to keep it around all the time. And that is my blackstrap molasses. Um, I put some of this stuff, and I've got another full bottle in the cupboard over there. I put some of this stuff in every green smoothie that I have. And I have a green smoothie, I would say at least five days out of the week. And one of the biggest reasons I do this is because it's a good source of calcium, potassium, and iron. Now I get enough potassium because I'm a banana freak, but the calcium and iron, that's a big key right there. Like in one tablespoon of this stuff, you get 19% of your daily, daily needs for calcium and you get 20% of your daily needs for iron. Now, I've always, I've, I say that I use a tablespoon, but I noticed my, I free pour, so I noticed my pour the other day and I'm thinking I'm probably, I'm definitely using more than a tablespoon. I'm not sure if I'm using, I doubt I'm using two tablespoons. So getting a good, um, you know, getting good supplement there on the calcium and the, and the iron during the day. Another thing I keep around too, kind of, a, I don't know if it's necessarily a staple, but I like to keep this around. This is for um, iodine. I don't know, you know, like I say, I don't, I don't generally use regular table salt. Um, I do eat some sea vegetables like wakame from time to time, but I just find this the easiest thing right here because just like my green smoothies, I probably eat a big salad at least five days out of the week. And when I'm finished making my salad, putting the dressing on it and mixing it all in, I just put a serving of this on there and get my little bit of uh, iodine for the day. Now, there's other things that I do keep around. Um, I'm looking around over there. Uh, I would say staples are other fruits, but not any one particular fruit. You know, back when I was in Costa Rica, I staple, the mangoes would have been a staple, um, papaya would have been a staple, um, pineapple would have been a staple, but I don't get those regular here and they're not always so good and the price is not as good. So I will say that I try to keep other fruit other than bananas around the house all the time. So I don't always have a pineapple in the house, but maybe I have a papaya in the house. Maybe I don't have a papaya in the house, but maybe I have five mangoes in the house. And um, speaking of which, I had a pineapple this morning. I'm not sure I've had a pineapple this good since I left Costa Rica. I mean, it was the sweetest one. Sweetest, sweetest, sweetest. I'm, I'm going to try to think where I picked that up and get another one this afternoon. But uh, yeah, I'm leaving here in just a few minutes to go uh, fill in some of these things. But things that aren't necessarily staples, or I'll tell you what, as a summer staple, watermelon. Watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. And I will be picking up another watermelon this afternoon. Likely uh, uh, my haul today, I'll get a watermelon. I'll get either a papaya or a pineapple, depending on how they look, and maybe pick up some um, mangoes and restock my kale. You don't know how annoyed I was when I was all jacked to get a green smoothie and I went, to, I went for the kale and there wasn't any kale in the refrigerator. So, eh. What are you gonna do? You improvise and I had a blueberry smoothie instead. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you're having a beautiful week. It's really been nice here, although hot. We've got beautiful weather outside, so I can't really complain when the sun is shining. So I'll see you guys here at the end of the week.
Peace.